When we got to the mainland, we found the space elevator's support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. There was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The factory had been converted to a production line for erosion drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belka detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The Erusians, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work, even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day. I should have stopped then, for all our sakes. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she meant everyone, including the princess. Like me, the princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she kept the war going. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it, and now they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka? Or for Erugia? My grandfather had only one wish, to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home let alone the sky. The black forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother, we have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. My homeland, she's right. It feels so far away now. 
The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No. I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, right now, it's the root of this chaos. I wonder... Yes? I wonder... which path you would choose... when looking at Harling's mirror. Let's get the briefing started. We've done enough air operations. Just let us go home. There's no path for us to get home. Whatever direction you fly, it'll be right into a hail of enemy fire. Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contained. Apparently, the erosion radicals have gathered around the space elevator, as it's a source of energy. Give the war mongers a powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, people from both Osea and Erujia have joined forces and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air to the sea. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. Take a look at what's written at the end. Hey, dumbass, if you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the lighthouse. You can see the future. Dumbass? Sounds familiar. It certainly does. It's from those guys we met in Tyler Island, the 444 squad. It's a message to all those looking to end the war. But I also think it's a message for Trigger. I guess we'll do what it says. Okay. Well then, I'm thinking we go roast that damn bird. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's time to end this war. Time to fly, guys. Let's go get that arsenal bird. You know, I like Admiral. Like, I think she's an awesome character. And I think this, that last cutscene is where people take issue with her character because up until that point she's kind of gone about this whole thing with a calm indifference she wants to and she wants to do the right thing and she will do the right thing but like she's never been one willing to sacrifice herself for that or really like make make the big sacrifices herself or people she cares about that kind of thing she and that's and in the mission it's very illustrated that she, she basically kind of hangs back she does, she'll, she'll let someone else take action so the fact that she's acting that aggressive in that cutscene is a little bit confusing like I don't know how she got to that point 
like, I think that's why a lot of the communities feel that she's one of the more underdeveloped characters here, because I'm not saying that she can't have gotten to that point, but we never really have seen her get to that point. And I think, I don't know, I would have liked to see more of her and more of, um, Kazette. And unfortunately, I gotta play through this again because my computer crashed. And the recording was destroyed. Well, not really destroyed. I cr the computer crashed, resulting in me crashing, resulting in the recording being crashed. So I'll try this again. The XO2, Strike Rival, or Air to Air Missile. We're gonna need those later. Uh, we're gonna use Mihai's Peak Job. Those are the parts I wanna use. Try to be. Strider Strike Squadron, sortie we'll ASAP. Later. Let's roll. Rebels or what? 
They're rebels, but I'm sure it's more complicated than that. Rush up on current events later. Focus on the enemy. Copy that. Take a look. See that line continuing above the horizon? The cable is up to the sky as far as the eye can see. Not many people know this, but the space elevator is the world's tallest transmission tower. In theory, this radio waves cover exactly half the globe. We've jacked up signal in order to reach out to you. How many more do we need to take out? Shoot him down one at a time. He'll run out eventually. Take him down now. Bandit launch missile. show themselves. from the arsenal bird. Shit, air burst tight. Helios arriving in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Helios arrived. Two flights are close together. My tail's been shot. I'm bailing out.
Tanks arriving in 10 seconds. Five seconds to arrival. Two. Inbound.
magic. It's a scam. Now's our chance. Do it, Trigger! Coming bogey. 
Are those the drones we saw at that factory? I'm coming down. I'll see you on the ground. No, wait! Enemy on my six! Those guys are bad news. Trigger, boss, do something! Strider 2, missile inbound! Cosette! What? This isn't the time for that! Cosette! Uh. Avril, they're headed this way. Get the refugees to safety now! Strider 2, you're hit. Are you alright? Still breathing. I won't be flying much longer, though. There's an ocean carrier a few kilometers to the west. It ran aground and was abandoned. It won't be easy, but it's the only place you got. Trigger, escort your wingman. Let's get to that carrier. That's all we can do. Yeah, I see what everyone else says. Because that should have died. That was her helmet. <laughs> she kept close. Trigger, up by can something. you hear me? I somehow managed to land. It's your turn now. The carrier ran aground, but that shouldn't be a problem for you. I'll guide you down. 3,000 meters to carrier. You're too fast. Lower your speed. Bank right. 1,500 meters to carrier. You're on course. Looking good, buddy. Abort landing! You're gonna crash! This is the first time I've ever screwed up this landing. Aw, oh, man. Trigger, can you hear me? I somehow managed to land. It's your turn now. The carrier ran aground, but that shouldn't be a problem for you. I'll guide you down. 3,000 meters to carrier. Lower your nose. 1,500 meters to carrier. You're on course. Looking good, buddy. Abort landing! You're gonna crash! Trigger, can you hear me? I somehow managed to land. It's your turn now. The carrier ran aground, but that shouldn't be a problem for you. I'll guide you down. 3,000 meters to carrier. Okay, let's get You're too speed fast. Up. Lower your speed. I'll, I'll lose the speed as I get there. I need to lose the altitude first. Bank right. 1,500 meters to carrier. Let's clear up the deck for the other aircraft. Well, we're okay for the moment. Now the real challenge begins. 